नमस्ते टुडे आई विल टेल यू अबाउट आश्रम्स इन साउथ इंडिया सो देर आर मेनी आश्रम्स लाइक कमर्शियल आश्रम्स लाइक श्री श्री रविशंकर ईशा योगा सेंटर्स बट आई लाइक नॉन कमर्शियल यू नो लाइक दे आर नॉट मच इन टू मेकिंग मनी और समथिंग यू नो वेरी यू विल फील लाइक यू वेंट टू ए आश्रम सो पर्सनली आई हैव विजिटेड थ्री आश्रम्स इन साउथ इंडिया सो वन इज़ इन कोलापुर सो कोलापुर फ्रॉम कोलापुर कोलापुर कम्स इन महाराष्ट्र फ्रॉम कोलापुर रेलवे स्टेशन द आश्रम इज़ इलेवन किलोमीटर अवे देर दे देर दे हैव थ्री फिफ्टी एक्कर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग फार्म लैंड देर दे ग्रो ऑर्गेनिक थिंग्स एंड दे आल्सो प्रोवाइड फूड फॉर एवरी वन हु विजिट दिस आश्रम एंड देर इज ए टू थाउजेंड देसी काउस एक्चुअली द मठ स्वामी नो लाइक मॉन्क द मेन मठ मठाधीश इज ए एम बी ए इन फाइनेंस और मार्केटिंग वेल एजुकेटेड पर्सन ही डिड रिसर्च बाई ट्रैवलिंग अराउंड इंडिया अबाउट काउस देसी काउस and he bought many cows and he is looking after them in a kolapur ashram they are well treated cows you know they give food 10 kg of food every day for each cows which i have never seen so far in anywhere in india so 2000 cows maintaining is a very tough job is not easy so more than that there is like a organic uh, product they make and sell it in a mall they have there is a mall also they have, they sell such products and uh, there is a museum wax museum where they are showing uh, old uh, rishi munis you know the what they used to do and all in a wax museum and there is a shiva temple 6th century shiva temple also so um, uh, so every uh, purnima New, uh, like uh, on Purnima, they have special program over there. So many people gather on uh, over there, and uh, this ashram name is Kaneri Mat. It's also called as Siddhakiri Mat. So you can visit it. You can stay there also. So so many. It's like a Western Ghat. You can see the Western Ghat also from the ashram. Very peaceful place. So morning to evening, you may see some crowd because this museum is a very famous in a famous for a tourist so other than that is very peaceful so second ashram i have visited in uh, kerala is in kerala is called as uh, anand ashram so in this uh, this ashram is completely different so in this ashram they accept any religious person so if you are muslim if you are christian they don't care they will accept as you are and you can stay there one two days for free and uh, you can do ram naam jap ra J- shri ram jai ram jai jai ram om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram om shri ram jai ram jai jai ram so this starts at 6 o'clock or something till evening 6 o'clock so continuously they are chanting there is a samadhi of swami ji swami ji means old monks they keep on doing rounds by chanting such mantra this was it was really peaceful they will provide all the meals and they will do this kind of and around 4 o'clock there is a book reading the main monk he will explain you by reading uh, reading book of guru ji of His his name is Ram Das, so he built that ashram, and uh, now the main monk is different. So he was a farmer actually, then he became a monk. Now he is. There are many volunteers there, looking after the ashram, expecting nothing. That ashram I liked a lot, and third ashram I have visited. One, two, another ashram is a Shakti Darshan ashram, that comes around thirty kilometer from. Shakti Darshan Yoga Ashram that comes around 30 40 km from Udupi that ashram even Bangalore airport is very nearby sorry i laugh because my son is holding camera so he is doing some some naughty things so 
this Shakti Darshan ashram is. Uh, there I have visited with my cousin. There I practiced Yoga Nidra. So this Yoga Nidra, you know, like I felt like flying on the sky. I felt very, very light and very blissful. This ashram monk <coughs> used to uh, practice yoga and meditation in Himalayas and he shifted there. So that ashram they are looking after many cows and many things you can learn from there also. So these three ashrams I personally visited and I can recommend this to anyone who is looking to explore ashrams around South India. So I will post link of each ashram in description of this video and if you have any questions please even if you have if you know better ashrams please comment below and subscribe this channel so we will keep it keep in touch each other namaste